Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. We are stuck behind the slowest motorhome in the world. Um, By the time I get to my destination, I'll have to turn around and go back to work. Unbelievable. We're actually going through Snowdonia. Snowdon. Um, yeah, and we've been stuck behind this camper van for about 10 miles. At least. Doing 30 miles an hour on a 90 mile an hour speed limit. Now, but it was on a 50, and yeah, he's just going. It's so just unbelievable. Slow. And there's so many cars behind us. Um, but I we pulled me in, it's fancy. So, oh, yeah, we're on our way. We've got one night which is a bit different, which we'll explain when we get there. Um, the second Not once have I had a chance to get the back end, dude. Not once. It is absolutely beautiful, though, around here, driving through Wales. Um, we are two hours behind schedule because of, partly because of this person in front and also we've had to stop for diesel and it is Friday the 24th of September and if anybody's tried to get diesel, petrol or anything today they'll know. Good luck. Yeah. There's the... Bloody ridiculous. The fuel station we always go to and run out. And then every other petrol station in the world, in the country, seems to have queues for about an hour because they're panic buying. Unbelievable! Absolutely unbelievable! <sighs> but it's I'm great. dying for the gin and tonic, and I can't even get there. So we've, it's two o'clock. We said it's not going to get there. We're not going to get there now until twenty to four, and we've been driving for hours. I've been driving since half past six this morning. And that was because you went out to do other things. Anyway, happy holidays. It is very, very pretty. Not it. Well, I'd love to tell you where we are, but I can't pronounce anything. Come on, you can't see me. A better? Yeah, like I said, I'd love to tell you where we are. Can't we're in Wales, that's where we are. I know. All as I know is in half a mile we're turning left towards Aberystwyth on the 8. Oh my God. What is this? The 487. And we're in somewhere that begins with an M and it's a long, a long word. You can't whack a bit, you can't whack a bit of Wales. And as the further we get into Wales, the drabber the weather's getting. Yes. A misty dropping on the hills. Yeah, Beautiful sunshine. Oh, I know. We're going through a very salmon pleasure that way. So there's a salmon up there, just, in, there? just in case anything goes wrong with the bus. That was not an omen. So I don't know where we are. Bloody noisy in here, I know that. Um, that's a coming towards us. I, uh... Oh, got to put my hand up, people. No, I, I did. got to put my hand up. Well, I did. So yeah, um, if you turn your rail. M-A-C-H-Y-N-L-L-E-T-H That's where we are. Yeah. Like I said before, you can't whack a bit of Wales. You can't whack it. I'm getting excited now, people. I'm getting excited. Well, you've still got an hour and a 15 minutes still to drive. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some more D's in the way I'm going. Yes, if you find anywhere that's got an A. Oh, that'll okay. leave. I just thought we'd better let you know where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to get the pronunciation wrong, but it's... Ponsade, Ponsiad, not far away from New Keene, Wales. And what it is, there's a lady who's got um, a cottage that it's a new business. So she's asked us to go down. So what we're doing, uh, because there is 
place for motorhome, our motorhome to go. So the idea of this place is, if you've got a motorhome and you want to meet family, they can, you, they can go to the cottage and stay at the cottage and you can be self-contained also in your motorhome. It's something a bit different. Yes. Like we're going to meet uh, two of our children and their partners. We will stop it in the cottage. They're stopping in the cottage. We're going to stop in the motorhome, but it's just way the family can get together. And I've just gone on to low battery on my phone. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so it's well, quite cool. We'll see what it's like to put the motorhome on the place. And yeah. stop. Well, we're not stopping in the cottage, we're stopping no, in we're this. stopping in this. And um, then tomorrow morning we're off. We're going to crack off and get the back end out around the hills of Wales. No, we're not. We're going 13 mile away to a place called mm, just outside. Yes, and hopefully people, if we can, talk the owners around. Get we'll get discount. you a discount. Yeah. So it's something that's ideal for like us with family and you with family. That they can have the cottage, you can have your motor home. And yeah, do Jumps it. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. Yeah. Well, I'm slowing down, we're not That's the idea anyway. So we're still going. Uh, we're now on the 8487 going toward Cardigan. At Roundabout, and I need take first. Phone. long drive but it's well worth it people no it shouldn't have been a long drive it's just everything that's everything that could go wrong today has gone wrong so yeah but we're here and the place is called Ponchan. yes and not Poncian, like i pronounced it and we have found a right little gem here yes which i think you'll be interested in something different yeah well I'll crack on and show you happy holidays happy holidays right this is called the granary Part of, it's part of it is the main house and then they're letting part of it as a cottage and it's absolutely Bang stunning. 
So we'll take you inside. Got a little shop there, look. A little off license. That's what you need, off license. Perfect. We haven't. What? Somebody's just stuck it over, but nobody's moved in yet. Oh, I'll shut up there, eh? Yeah. And there's a tractor coming. Okay. Opposite the granary, you have a village store. Let's go and have a look at the granary, eh? Let's go. Let's crack on. So you drive up here, and this is going to surprise you. Yes, because one of the good things about this is, like I was trying to explain before, we've got a motorhome and we can't go on holiday with the children because we're not having them in our motorhome. So they've come down, stopping in the cottage, and if you've got people stopping in the cottage, you can then bring your motorhome. They're not doing it as an independent motorhome stop, but you can, they can, you can do it as a family holiday, so you can all come away together. Yes. So here we are. And we're parked in there, folks. Perfect access. It's dog friendly. Dog friendly. Loads of space for your motorhome. If you want to come in your motorhome. Yeah. Also, but this is, if you, if you come in your motorhome, it's £15 a night, isn't it? If it is, if you're with somebody who's stopping in the cottage, they're not doing it as just a motorhome stopover. No, stop you can't over. come in here just with your motorhome. If you've got a large family or something, yeah. then obviously your children whatever like we've met up with two of our kids and their partners they're stopping in the cottage we're stopping in the motorhome so we can have a get together to tonight yes uh but for the motorhome you've got a plug-in electric point and an outside tap yes you've got electric in there which you can use you've got water you can also empty your toilet if it's green yes. you can only use green liquid because they've got a cesspit I don't know what it's called, but well, it's, one, one, yeah. one well, it's only green people, only green. Only green. Exactly. But look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. You've got and you're going to be so surprised at the price in a minute when we tell you. If you book through and quote us. Yes. You've got to quote Robin in on tour. So you come into here. And you've got everything you need. Yes, self catering, you have got, what is it? Washing machine? Washing machine, fridge. Um. Cups. Yeah, everything. You haven't got to bring anything. Beautiful. Cooker. Cooker. Microwave. All your plates, your dishes, the saucepans. All you need to bring is your food and your gin. Yeah. That's a dishwasher. Is it? Yes, dishwasher. And you've got a dishwasher to keep the old birds happy. Fridge freezer. Fridge freezer. With ice. Coffee machine. Yeah, basically all you've got to bring is food and drink. Yeah. That's all you've got to bring. And you come into the lounge and dining area with a beautiful wood burner, yeah. TV. Wood burner there, look. The settee. Brand new by the looks of it. It is. Everything's brand new. The settee is a bed settee, so you've got two people sleep down here. Yeah. Dining room area for four. So you TV, have, that's what you want, TV. It does hold four adults and a baby. They'll supply a travel cot. Yes. If you haven't got one. Yes. Sit there, look, get your breakfast down, your bacon, a sausage and whatever. Who's going to cook that? I've got no idea. Well, if you're like me, you'll probably eat out. Because your old bird doesn't know how to turn the cooker on. Yes. Downstairs toilet. Downstairs toilet. And All clean, spotless. And up this beautiful staircase. Get up the wooden hills. Up the wooden hills. It is really nice. There you go, old wooden beams look. So if you want a romantic weekend, if you're old romantic like me. And then stopping at the cottage, you get all your towels supplied as well, just like a hotel. Yes, there you go. And you've also got an ensuite separate bath and shower. Toilet and sink there. And a toilet and sink. Got a bath. Is your shower in there as well? Yeah? Yes, there is. It's absolutely stunning. Without a doubt. And. Uh oh. I just ended up talking about the price. If you go on to Airbnb. Hang on a minute, can I, can I come in? What? In the price? So you've if got you go wardrobe space. It's a bit little, isn't it? Well, you could walk in there. I took my shoes off. 
some drawer space, plenty of drawer space. It is beautiful. It they really are is. they are booking it only on a three day basis. Yes. But you're gonna you're not gonna drive all this way and just stop in it for one night. No. It's good. All is good. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yes. How come we can't stop in here and we've got to stop in the motorhome? Because I love me bus. Unbelievable. To be honest, to me, it doesn't get much better, does it? it if you doesn't. want to spend time with your family holiday and you want to be in your motorhome, which is perfect for both sides. Yeah. Your family in here, your motorhome parked out there. And it doesn't got, get much better. And you've got internet as well, just noticed. Internet as well, people. Yeah. Internet. Which we go. all need. Happy, so happy we'll, days. We'll, happy show you, we'll show you more outside and we'll come back in here and talk about the price. Yeah. So there's this. Sit, there's going to be a sitting area. These people have only just moved in here, haven't yes, they? Yes, really? they have known this uh, this long, so we're yeah. trying to help, you know, and again, trying to help a small business out. Yes. Um, yeah, they're going to put a, an eight seater, like. Table and chairs table there. Chairs out here. You've got garden space. You've got, there. You've got a bit of uh, on a grassland there, a bit of a garden there, so your kids can play with whatever they want to play with. That's if you bring children. If you bring, children, bring yeah. children. But you know, it's, it's, mainly, it's mainly catering for. And the best thing couples. about it is. Look at that! The beast! Not you, the motorer. Well, I'm hoping not on being called the beast. I mean, look at it. I'm going to clean that tomorrow before I go, actually. Yeah, I'm going to clean that down tomorrow before I go. Happy with that. Right next to where we're parked, you have a little stream. It's a babbling brook. A babbling brook, the old bird says. You can says. hear it babbling. Instead yeah, of you're me babbling. babbling. You're babbling, aren't you? Unbelievable. Very nice. Yes. Lovely, lovely, happy, happy. There it is, the granary, granary cottage. Right, people, let's get down to price. How much is it going to cost you yeah. to stop in the cottage and put your motorhome outside? Yeah, right. So, like, I hope you understand. What and I've got a stinking cold. Yeah, it isn't COVID because no, it's not COVID. I'm going to test someone. Yeah. Right. So, if you want to stop here, you can stop here in your motorhome if you've got people stopping in the cottage. Yes. If you go through Airbnb... So basically, you can meet your family or whatever down here if you're on a motorhome going off on your travel somewhere else. Yeah. So your family coming in the cars, it sleeps four people, does it? And a baby, yeah. Four, four. people and a baby, is it? Yeah. Four, the two-seater goes to a... Yeah, a bed. A bed, and yeah. you've got the bed upstairs. Yeah. So if you want to come in your motorhome, meet up with your family, have a laugh and whatever for a couple of days or however long you want, yeah. you could shoot off in your motorhome. Your family or friends can shoot off in the car, everybody's happy, jobs are right. Good. Shut up, Robert. If you want to stop here and you go through Airbnb, it's £69 per night. But I'm going to put the dis descript uh, there. description bill in there. Three. She's going to put the description. Hang on. No, don't cut it. Oh. This is just the way we are. We're going to put what we're doing. I'm going to put the link in the description below to Airbnb so you can have a look and. So there's more photos, probably more information than we've given you today. But if you actually want to stop here and you uh, email them direct and quote Robin Lynn on tour, they'll do it here for £50 per night. £50 a night? Yeah, and the motorhome, it's a minimum of three nights stay, I've said that before, but... Oh, well, that's for everybody, £50. Yeah, £50, pound, that's, for, that's for the cottage. Yep. All you need is your food, your drink and your food. Self-catering cottage, yeah. And the, the, if you want to bring your motorhome here as well, that's going to cost you £15 per night. Yes, but you can plug it in, plug in and fill up with water, empty your toilet or whatever, right. and you can sleep in it for £15 a night. Yeah. And come in here with your family, have a party, jobs are good. I'm happy with that. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. So that's it. So you're going to sign out? Yes. Where are we going tomorrow? We are going to Newquay, only 13 miles up the road for one night, meeting up with a few friends. Yes. And exploring Newquay. Yeah. Can't wait. Happy on these people. Happy on it is. Look, you're very pretty. Shut up, rabbit. You gonna sign it? <laughs> yeah. We hope you enjoy this vlog, people. If you do come across our channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment. And all that. <laughs> Stay safe, friend of Caravan, as motor owners tend to drift to subscribers on new, so all of you. We do. We'll see you tomorrow, people. You we tomorrow. will see you tomorrow. You can't whack it. Shut up, rabbit.